What's going on everybody, Gareth through FCP Euro. Welcome back to another DIY video. Today we have an F3328i on the lift behind us. However, uh, the DIY that we'll be doing today is not necessarily uh, vehicle specific. It is BMW specific and of course you can see right here we have two roundel emblems. These happen to be the two most common type of roundel emblems you'll run across while uh, owning a BMW. Uh, both adhered and those that are mounted with the grommets. Uh, for some reason, F30s have both styles, um, so we'll have the opportunity to show you how to do both. Um, but like I said, this applies to all BMWs. If your roundel emblem has faded, the paint has completely fallen off, whatever the situation is, if you want to replace them, we're going to show you how to do that today. So with that said, let's talk about some of the tools we're going to need to do this, and we'll go ahead and get right into it. So some of the tools we need for this DIY, it's really basic stuff. You'll probably wonder what this is but this is basically a package shipping strap. You're gonna see why that's super useful in a minute. You want some kind of plastic scraping tool, particularly for the emblem which has the double-sided tape on it. This is gonna be really useful for moving the double-sided tape from the uh, bumper cover. And also a flathead screwdriver for some prying. While this might seem like a bad idea right now, you're gonna see how I use this and it's gonna make sense. And then also, going to use this style pick 90 degree for removing the grommets from uh, in this case the vehicle's trunk lid. They're plastic grommets in this case so they're a little bit tight to remove so I'm going to use this one to pry those out of there. But now that we've talked about some of the tools we're going to need, pretty straightforward. We'll go ahead and jump into it and show you how to do both styles of these emblems. So on this F30 the front emblem is adhered so when you buy the new emblem, genuine emblem, these are the only ones that we sell, um, it comes with the tape pre-applied. As you can see, it has the, um, the paper on the back for that. Most of the round emblems you'll come across are just held on with two grommets, um, but you will come across a few cars that use adhered emblems like this. Uh, so the key on this one is you pretty much have to pry it off, and you want to do that without damaging anything. So what I have here is a shipping strap. Um, you know, anytime you get any kind of packages, you'll probably see something like this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish this up under the emblem uh, just to use as a prying point. It's not going to really take much to get this off, but I don't want to pry against the paint. And to be honest with you, the plastic trim panel removal tools can be a little bit too flexible to do this. So, all right, that's gone all the way through. So I'm just going to take this flathead screwdriver. I'm going to come up under here and I'm going to slowly work the emblem off. There we go. So actually it looks like um, the strap worked its way under. Another thing that you could do instead of the strap, uh, you could also use some painter's tape around the edge, but basically you know, don't want to damage the paint. Uh, so from this point, I'm gonna to try to peel as much of this double-sided tape away as possible while not leaving any behind. It's inevitable that you're gonna leave some behind. You're gonna to have to scrape that off. There you go, that's all I could get. So I'm going to have to use a plastic scraping tool to remove as much of this double-sided tape as possible. This is the only part that's going to take some time here. Because uh, like I said, I want to try to remove as much of this stuff as possible. We're going to have to go over and clean it. Try to get any residual goo off of it. These adhered emblems are going to be the ones that take the most amount of time because you usually have to remove the old double-sided tape. So I'm just using a little bit of denatured alcohol here to uh, degrease the surface and uh, basically promote good bonding for the uh, new album there. You know, there's a little bit of residue left behind from the double-sided tape that was on there before. And you could literally sit here all day trying to remove that stuff in some cases. It's baked on pretty good. So it's really just more important that you get the surface clean and prepped. And then from there, I'm gonna take the new album pretty much self-aligns, obviously it goes right side up. If you want to get creative and put it upside down, that's on you. But there's two like alignment dowels on the hood, which this does not want to go to. There we go. And then you just press down and you're done. So if you have an adhered emblem, that's sort of the more complicated setup. You just need to be careful making sure that you don't damage the paint when you remove it. 
and um, these are not as common as the next style emblem we're going to do. Next style emblem, super easy, and we'll move on to that one next. All right, so now we're going to be doing this other emblem, which is on the trunk. Like I said, this is going to be the more traditional style roundel emblem mounting. It's held on by two grommets. Um, this takes way less time to do. So again, using one of these shipping straps, you can use something similar. I'm just going to fish it up underneath. You'll always be able to find a spot underneath the emblem that it wants to go through. Just need to search around a little bit sometimes to find it. Sometimes it takes a minute to get it to go, but I did find a spot. And you're just going to push it. Keep pushing it until it pops out the top like so. And then literally pop the emblem off like that. If you don't have access to something like this, you know, again, you can put some tape on these edges here and then use a plastic pry tool. But in my opinion, these, this works a lot faster. I'm just going to see if I can uh, pop these out like this, but baby. So I'm cheating here and I'm using this uh, sharp pick to basically poke a hole in the grommet. That time it broke. But I'm just kind of using this as a way of uh, prying the grommet out. This is like a plastic grommet, so it's, it's pretty stiff. This one is not cooperating like the first one did. The first one worked mint. I'm not putting the pick anywhere near the metal of the car. I'm just putting it on the grommet itself. And every time I do it, the damn grommet breaks. Oh no. Next up, we're going to install the two new grommets they just push into place. And then uh, just push the new emblem in. It's gonna be some pressure to get, get it to go in on the new grommets, but it goes on super easy. And that's how you would replace this style of Roundel emblem. So it's pretty much the two variations you're most commonly gonna run into. So this is how you go about replacing both style roundel emblems, both the adhered and the grommeted version. As you can see, it's super simple. I know that it might seem a little bit intimidating, especially since you're dealing with a cosmetic part and paints involved and you don't want to do any damage. But if you take the necessary precautions, you're not going to do any damage to the car. And uh, you know, depending on the nature of the emblem uh, that you removed, if the paint had come off or was cracked or whatever, if it looked bad, the before and after is going to be super satisfying. It's definitely something you could take on yourself at home. So I hope you learned some of this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave in the comment box below. We'll make sure we get back to you. Hit that like button if you like this video. Also, subscribe. We have a lot more videos on the way. And as always, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.